Hi guys, welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. It is Thursday, the 25th of May. We're headed into Memorial Day weekend and it's a busy weekend on Texas lakes, of course. For any of you looking for information, the first information I would provide is don't go. <laughs> this is a terrible time in uh, Texas lakes to, uh, to be on the lakes on a three-day weekend. First weekend of summer like this, or virtually summer. And so, uh, North Texas, we generally stay off the lake, and that, along with the extraordinary swings in temperature and the incredible winds that we're having up here in North Texas, have kind of put things off a little bit on lakes. It's hard to navigate when you're using a small skip like I do to fly fish for carp. Um, you're better off finding your creeks and finding some rivers and, and just cooling off there and cooling your heels. Uh, anywhere you know that you can go that's not crowded in uh, inland Texas water, uh, that's where I'd be. Anywhere that you don't know that you haven't been, I wouldn't go because you'd probably be overwhelmed this weekend. Um, it's just dangerous and hardly worth it with the crowds anyway. So that's my advice for uh, fly fishing the lakes don't do it um, if you want to go ahead and do creeks that's a great thing you know um, I want to uh, show you this one image at the very end uh, of the broadcast before I run the I don't I don't think we're gonna have a Texas uh, scroll at the end because it looks like TPWD is taking a, a ho early holiday or whoever does it for TPWD is taking an early holiday this week or maybe it'll come out tomorrow but it's not out as usual on Thursday so we're not going to have that scroll at the very end. But at the very end, I got a real nice thank you card from a young man who I took fly fishing for carp. We did really well last weekend. And uh, he sent me a thank you note, and he called me Texas Flycaster. And that's the only mistake he made besides uh, calling me sir, which is way over the top for me. Um, you guys are the Texas Flycasters. I never intended to be called that, named that, or anything like that. It's just the name of my website, www.texasflycaster.com. That's the website. So anyway, that's just one correction I wanted to make. You guys are it, and that's why I'm here, is to do this for you guys. Moving on to salt water. We still got a bite that has just not let up for almost a year now. And uh, that's because you know we had a mild winter, and. Uh, conditions are just really really good so on the Texas Gulf Coast top to bottom you can find fish you're trying to get out of the wind the wind provides an additional uh, variable I like to talk about variables a lot here and that is that your tides will, could be extreme and not anything like what they're showing on the charts that's because the wind will blow water in or out of uh, the bay system and cause a more extreme evacuation or influx of water so keep your mind on that um, you got to keep out of the wind um, and some of the reports I'm seeing uh, South Padre Island up to Port Mansfield doing really good uh, again find shelter if you've got winds down there we, we're gonna have winds here today that would even if everything else was perfect and won the holiday weekend, I, I had to reschedule a, a, a skiff trip today because the wind is expected to top out 35. So it's running from 20 to 35 today, which is a no-go. You can get into these coves and you can get into protection, but to get there you have to go through two-foot chop on the lake I use. So that's a no-go. Another thing I want to tell you about um, that's pretty much it for the the uh, report as far as salt water it's 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 pretty much a green light all the way across the board uh, the lakes are gonna be too crowded uh, you got creek and a river you can hide out in stay out of the wind and stay out of the crowds that'd be great um, but that's pretty much about uh, all I got to say about this weekend uh, other than if you are a fly fisherman in North Texas, I, I do a terrible job of promoting my own services, which I'm a fly fishing guide, and I guide for carp on a flat skiff here in North Texas. I'm, uh, I'm starting to reach out to the, to the younger fly fishers now and uh, contact me if you're under 18 and more, probably more than 12 or 13 years old, somewhere between 13 and 18. Um, guys, girls, whatever, um, and you would like to try a, a, a little time on the flat skiff, I am really making an uh, attractive offer uh, to 
get youth out and get them fly fishing and get them exposed to a, a really like a saltwater challenge here on fresh water. So think about that. Talk to your parents. Let me know. Um, if you're an adult, come on out. I've got plenty of openings. I've got plenty of bookings too, so we have to kind of work it out. But uh, come on out, try this out. It's a wonderful uh, format to uh, get you into the frame of mind of the fly fishing off a skiff instead of mucking around in the mud. And I see a lot of guys out there while I'm pulling clients around having to muck around and they're not having much luck. Well, we can see a lot of fish from our perspective of looking down from a, me on a polling platform and these guys on the front of the skiff, uh, it's, it's a huge advantage. Um, the, the number of shots we have at carp, which it takes a lot of shots to catch a few carp, um, are tremendous. And you know, easily a hundred shots uh, right now. And the conditions are great. When everything settles down, the wind dies down, um, it'll be on again and I'll be on it again. So that's what's going on with me and the Texas Flycaster website and guiding here for carp in North Texas. If you want to contact me, I'm here in North Texas. My number, my phone number is 940-380-0408. Feel free to call me, text me, whatever you want to do. Email, fly, no, I take that back. I've changed that. It's texasflycaster at gmail.com. That's not my name, just the name of the, the actual website and business. So that's that, texasflycaster at gmail.com. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Sorry we don't have the scroll this time. I'll put it up next time if uh, TPWD gets back to work. Yeah, you know, these government folks have their own kind of holidays. They're really taking a big holiday on the, the school teachers of Texas right now. They, they really put it to them, and it's, it's really a lot of bad news that I'm having trouble not talking about. But I'll try not to. If you're a school teacher, you do know what I'm talking about, especially a school teacher in Texas. Have a great weekend. Remember what the weekend's all about. Be sure you check the website out, www.texasflycaster.com, and I look forward to seeing you on the water.